Today, I'm going to talk about cash flow. It's super important. It's the lifeblood of your creative business. Good morning, welcome back to my channel. So cash flow is so important, but many creative entrepreneurs just overlooked this element and it's make it or break it. It's that important. And guess what? Art schools don't teach you anything about cash flow. If you're from art school like me, you know that they don't even mention a word about it. Business schools don't teach enough about it. And that's why I want to talk about it in this video. And if I can help you in any way, I think I will be more than happy. And I think this time spent making this video is totally worth it. I'll give you a few otherwise, but not every otherwise is applicable to your business because every creative business is different. Watch until the end. If you still have any questions, leave me a comment below and I will get back to you ASAP. My first advice to any creative entrepreneur is when you don't sell your art, when your art don't sell, stop making more art. If this particular set of artworks don't sell, there is a reason, okay? Maybe the marketing isn't working. Maybe the channels like the galleries that you're working with, they are not pushing your art enough. Maybe you should look for new channels, perhaps online channels. Maybe your artworks are not popular enough to beat other competitors to dominate the market. So you should go back then and develop this product, product 2.0. So to rework on the artwork, add new elements, try new materials, work more and design a different set of strategies until you sell this set of existing inventory. And then it is time to make more artworks. Just by reproducing the same kind of artworks a hundred times is not going to make it sell. You need to take a break and look back and come up with new strategies and continue. My second advice is to pre-sell everything. When someone say, okay, can you paint this work for me? I want this commissioned work. Try to say, okay, you pay everything up front. You count 60%, you count 50%. Try to get as much money as possible up front. Imagine if someone says, I will pay you $100 today or $110 tomorrow, which one would you prefer? The correct answer for any business school graduate is always today, because who knows what will happen tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow this person is not here anymore to give me the money. Maybe tomorrow I'm not around anymore. I mean, life is full of surprises. So today, if you can get the money, get the money. If you wanna launch a new book, guess what? My book is going to publish tomorrow. Tonight, if you want to buy it, $9.99. Tomorrow, $12.99. Try to sell everything up front so that you have the cash at hand. And guess what? You can go ahead and spend the money, invest in your project and push things, speed things up. My third advice is to pay your bills later. Every bill has a due date. Don't pay up front. Pay as late as possible. I'm saying that pay later, not pay it late. Of course, you still need to pay the bills on time so that you can build a credit history. So in the future, if you want to go to the bank and say, I need uh, to get some loan for my business, they will look into the history. If you have paid all the bills uh, on time, if this is the case, they will give you the loan. So it's important to pay your bills. And for example, if you always forget to pay your bills, a program, an automatic transfer, for example, rent for your office, for your studio space, things like that. Pay it on the last day possible, but make sure that you pay your bills. My last advice is to minimize the accounts uncollectible or the uncollectible accounts or the bad debt. I don't know how to put it, but imagine someone who's supposed to pay you, they don't pay you. Okay, things happens. Maybe a, a customer says, okay, I wanna give this commission work for my dog and here is the money, I pay a half upfront and guess what? Maybe his dog dies and he doesn't want the painting anymore because you know, he's so sad. Or maybe something happens and the customer bankrupt and don't come back to give you the money. So anything can happen and in accounting, it will be just deemed as account uncollectible and you cannot recover the money. And you try to minimize the bad debts by asking everything upfront, by not taking certain customers that you think that is risky. But maybe sometimes the, the opportunity is too good to be true. And they say, guess what? I'll come back, I'll pay you a lot of money. 
you have to evaluate the risks of doing all the works up front, especially bespoke pieces. And it's so unique, like someone's dog, someone's daughter, someone's wedding photos that you have to paint. That is so unique. If these customers don't pay you, guess what? Nobody else will pay you. So you have to evaluate the risks and make sure that you minimize the bad debts or accounts uncollectible so that you don't you know spend all your money and time for nothing okay now you have heard my full advice on how to manage your cash flow of course there are other advices like no brainers like don't bite off what you could chew you know don't buy something you cannot afford you know spend wisely you know, control your expenditures those are the things that you know you can see and hear it from any uh, tutorials and youtube videos I and mean, there are a lot of of course common sense in there if you have any questions regarding to the cash flow leave me a comment below i will get back to you as AP. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video.